Number 41. Predict which compound in each of the following pairs of compounds is more acidic and explain your reasoning for each. And then we have letter A out of the bunch. So we have to figure out whether HSO4 minus is more acidic or is HSEO4 minus more acidic. Well, the first thing we got to do is we got to figure out what types of acids these are. Basically, there's two types. There's binary and then there's oxoacids. Binary acids, you're only allowed to have two different elements in your compound. But if I look at HSO4, I have hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. That's three. That's not two. Binary acids, you're only allowed to have two elements, and one has to be a hydrogen. So binary acids are out. But I do notice that I have a hydrogen in the front, and maybe I'll put that in red, right? Hydrogen's in the front, oxygen's in the back, and I have a random element in the middle, right? This X could be any non-metal, right? Sulfur, uh, in this case, it's sulfur, selenium. You could have, you know, bromines or chlorines or whatever. But if you see this type of arrangement, this is an oxo acid. Oxo for oxygen, it's got to have oxygen. Acid, the property of an acid is you have to have a hydrogen in the front. And then you have to have that, you know, the central atom pulling all of these together. So we have an oxo acid here. We got an oxo acid here. The oxo acid trend is that as you go down a group, your acidity will decrease as you go down the group. So we just got to figure out where these elements are. Now take note that we're not going to look for hydrogens because those are the same. We're not going to look for the oxygens because those are the same. We're going to look for the sulfur and the selenium. So I'm going to look for S and SE. Okay, so S is on the, you know, relatively on the top. If we look on our periodic table and SE is right below it. So as we go down, we decrease in acidity. So which one would be more acidic? Well, selenium would be least acidic because we're going down, decrease. So the sulfur one has to be more acidic. So in this case, H, SO4 minus, is the more acidic uh, comp, you know, acid out of the two. But now we just have to explain the reasoning. This comes from electronegativity. As you also go down a group, and remember it's S and then right below it's SE, you decrease in electronegativity. The better acid is always the one that's attached to the higher electronegative element. So in this case, we could just say that it's HSO4 minus because sulfur is more electronegative than SE. And the more electronegative element, it wants to become negative, and that's what acids do, right? Acids always donate that hydrogen. The hydrogen goes away, making this element negative. And if you're more electronegative, that means that you're more likely to become negative faster and quicker. And the faster this hydrogen leaves, the better the acid. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool YouTube channel exists. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.